So Philippines was affected by a hurricane last Friday, Friday the 8th. This follows another uh, uh, disaster occurring uh, one month ago. There was an, an earthquake of 7.1 magnitude. So two emergencies simultaneously. So since the earthquake, uh, hurricane affected the country on Friday, we have already disponibilized, made available a number of health and water and sanitation supplies. They left during the weekend and early this, this week. They have already landed in Manila and in Cebu. And we hope that by uh, the end of the week, this Friday, we have a full charter with additional water and sanitation, uh, hygiene, health supplies, uh, leaving from uh, Europe to, uh, to Cebu. The hurricane has affected uh, 9.5 million people. So having a real um, idea of the disaster on the ground, it is difficult to access the population. To Manila, we can reach by truck to Tacloban. To Cebu, we will, with support of the international community, the logistic cluster is on the ground. We have also our team on the ground. We will then move the commodities to by sea or by air. We have the international community and the government has made available some flights. So it is not enough at the moment, but definitely sufficient to respond to the first wave of supplies. We are now currently sending uh, a reinforcement to the to the team. Uh, we have a good team uh, in the country office. They have been used to respond to emergencies because unfortunately Philippines is every year affected by cyclones and by hurricanes. So they know how to respond. But the magnitude of this emergency requires a reinforcement. So we have warehouse colleagues that are working here in supply division that are flying today to, uh, to Manila and will, will stay 24 hours and will directly go to Rochas uh, City, which is a logistic hub, will deserve uh, uh, supplies, will send supplies to the, to the different islands and the population affected there. Another team will go to Cebu and another team will go to Tacloban. Unfortunately, we are monitoring also new hurricanes on the way to the Philippines, so that might add on the current uh, emergency response. Yes, it will be a long, that's why the, organ the international organization, the international community has declared this as a corporate emergency, a level three emergency. It shows the magnitude of the emergency response. Currently, we only have another uh, level three at the moment, it's Syria. So the international community is responding to multiple level trees, but also we still have some level two emergencies such as Central Africa that also drags our, our, our support and, and that requires a continuous support from the international community.